Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to switch off Airbnb smart pricing on your listing. For that, you need to log in to the Airbnb website from your computer. You cannot do this from your phone app or an iPad app at the moment, as far as I know. Once you're on your Airbnb hosting dashboard from your computer, and you can directly go there by typing in airbnb.com forward slash hosting. It should look like this to you. And we're going to choose the listing now. And for that, you need to click on the listing option in the top menu. Uh, I click on a listing that should display all the listings under my profile. And let's say I want to change the, the smart pricing for the very first listing here. I click on the listing and that should open the listing edit page where I can manage the listing and do the changes to the listing. Smart pricing you will find under the pricing option which is the third tab in this page and in there you will see the first header is nightly price and within that the first option is smart pricing if you want to switch it off you need to click on the edit option right in front of nightly price and that displays the flip button which you can use to switch off smart pricing on your property as soon as you switch it off you get a prompt from airbnb warning you of consequences you will not be competitive enough, You're, you will need to control your prices and you will need to fine tune your settings, etc, etc. I personally believe it is a good idea to turn the smart pricing off because Airbnb is always suggesting you ridiculous prices for the property. They're always trying to bring the prices down for hosts I don't know for some financial reason maybe they are just interested in numbers number of people booking their places or maybe i don't know they, they've got some other reasons but in my opinion smart pricing you should never have it on having said that i'm going to show you at the end of this i'm going to show you a trick where you can still keep this on and override the prices but for now let's just carry on so on this pop-up menu you will see you just click on yeah fine i'm okay with all this and then you choose turn off smart pricing and that gives you another pop-up saying okay tell us why you are turning it off today you can choose the most appropriate option for you in this case i will choose prices are too low and click continue and then you receive one final warning which says this is what's going to happen to you your prices will not adjust based on demand yeah uh, you will need to increase your minimum price blah 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 and then let's say you still want to switch it off we click on continue you get one final warning. So, so you can see how desperate Air, Airbnb is to keep your smart pricing on because for some reason they want to sell it for the cheap, ridiculous price. Okay, so they want you to check all these three options as well. Your night, nightly prices won't automatically factor in demand. Your listing may experience fewer bookings. Well, not that's not entirely true. Your nightly prices won't automatically increase with demand spikes. At that point, there are external pricing tools you can use which work better than Airbnb smart pricing. I will come to that in the next video. Okay, so getting back to this, you choose all these options. You need to select all these options. You need to confirm you acknowledge all these three things which are going to happen to you. And then you click on continue. And that should finally switch the smart pricing off for you. So that is how you switch off smart pricing off. But as I mentioned earlier, there is a smarter trick to get around the ridiculous prices Airbnb suggests you. So for that, uh, I'm going to turn on the smart pricing on and you will see once when you switch it on, they don't bother you at all. They love it. 
So you just flip it on and click save and voila, it's, it's, it's all gone for you. So smart pricing is again on. So now there are two things you need to understand. There is smart pricing on the listing level and then there is a smart pricing on a date level. Airbnb wants you to keep it on at both the levels, but you can keep the listing level smart pricing on because that gives you additional brownie points in Airbnb search engine ranking. And it, it, it probably gives you an advantage in the ranking of your listing. So keep it on for now. That is what I advise everyone. Keep the smart pricing on here which is the listing level. And then you can go into your calendar. Let me just go to the calendar. Uh, it is loading. So once the calendar is loaded, uh, ignore my calendar for now. It looks horrible at the moment. We are in the middle of COVID-19 pandemic. That's why all the bookings have been canceled. But Getting back to the main topic, uh, so you will see for every single date you choose on your calendar, on the right hand side you will see a button which says smart pricing on and off. This is where you can actually override the suggested price by Airbnb. I would suggest always keep the smart pricing on at the listing level but keep it off if you want to override the prices at the date level in your calendar so for example if i want to override the prices here i can just select all the dates i can enter i will need to switch off the smart pricing and once you switch off the smart pricing it will allow you to enter a date so i will enter 100 pounds here and press save that is going to update my prices to 100 pounds for all of these dates so that's how you can override you can switch off smart pricing at the date level and still keep it on on the listing level which i believe gives you additional brownie points it, it, it definitely helps you in your airbnb search ranking and that is one optimization technique i just told you Hope you enjoyed my videos. Please feel free to write a comment if you if you want to know something more. If you've got some more queries about Airbnb, please do subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and until next time, bye bye. Take care.